Let's take a look at the global pandemic numbers now. There are more than 1.7 million cases of COVID-19 around the world. Hello, this is Julia Lang. I am based in New York City and I run a creative production agency called Julia Lang World Vibes. And I'm also about to launch my own product line, which I'm very excited about, called Word, which is from the French word green. As you can see, green has always been my passion, my color, and I'm gonna dig deeper into what it means to me later on. Uh, my clients, at my agency are a bunch of different entertainers from athletes to singers to models to actors and brands globally record labels so it's like a big big melting pot like whoever needs strategy or like more momentum they usually call us i would say bold globally and innovative as many people have said before, it takes 10 years for an overnight success. I've been doing this for over a decade. I started in Europe and then eventually, six years ago, I moved to New York, where everything really took off for me. Um, how I started, I just, I just did it. So eventually, there's never going to be a perfect timing. Um, so you have to go for it and then eventually it happens in two years or it happens in 10 years 15 years but it's about you know consistency and just never give up bet on yourself invest in yourself is like key 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 i've been doing this for the longest even before i had my company i would rather choose to skip vacations and fly to international fashion weeks or to a high profile event because I always knew the contacts I'm gonna grow over there or the impressions and the momentum I'm gonna create for myself and for my future business is going to be so worth it and eventually when my business is flourishing and it's at the point where I want it to be I can have year-long vacations so you have to prioritize what is important to you and definitely invest in yourself. You can invest in yourself with books. Knowledge is power. You can invest in yourself by your time, meaning you don't have to always go out and like, you know, get drunk. You can also just be focused and be by yourself, get up early and, and work out and do work on your business and your dreams. Um, it's not always about money, it's about your time, invest your time in yourself, um, you know, choose priorities. And I think, again, betting on yourself and investing in yourself is what it really comes down to. So there's never an A to B. It's always case by case. Um, when I first started my career, I did a lot of digital branding and this like digital world is moving so quickly and you have to adapt almost every single day. So I kind of trained myself and back to the question, um, there's no, there's no roadmap. It's like really case by case and every client has different needs and different approaches and different strategies. And it is really important and uh, powerful if you are actually able, not just as an individual, but as your, like your whole team and your company to really maneuver from a day-to-day -day perspective and really go with the time and with the trends and are able to adjust and then create the best outcome and the best overall momentum for your clients. I think when we are in the crisis, like actively in it, a lot of brands and companies are actually scared to invest and they are actually holding their budgets 
way like closer to them um but i think when this is all over and we are back to normal what i mean with normal is just being able to work again go to our workplace because i think the normal that we know will not really exist anymore but once that is really there and we are allowed to you know go out again and hug each other or like just be with each other then there will be a massive need to you know just find ways and strategies of how we can survive such a crisis and the depth and the lack and everything that it, you know got just swamped over us i feel like people like me or peers in this industry we will be called then to help so i'm ready I think this time rather than just pointing out like one client or one project I was working on, obviously there were some very monumental ones for me, but I think the overall move to New York just set the tone for me because it was a big choice, you know, um, my best friends, my family who are everything for me, they're still in, in Europe and Germany and I just decided to move because I knew like in my gap I knew this is gonna lead me to where I want to be where I need to be and I knew the energy and the flow and the past phase overall frequency in New York is exactly what feeds me and my energy and my success so I knew moving to New York is what is going to just make my career drive even more and that's exactly what happened six years ago super super interesting because more so now every day feels completely different i am a moody person in general but during these times it's more so like on steroids and yeah every day is different like some days i'm happy and like like over the moon and then other days i'm just like damn like i don't even know how i'm gonna get out of this i don't even know if my savings gonna last long enough um but i guess in in the very beginning i was thriving because as an artist or like in general i'm an introvert believe it or not and i isolate a lot i need to be by myself that's when i function the best and that's when i'm most productive so i isolate on a on a regular so when it started i was almost relieved and i felt like less of a guilt because before i was like oh shit every like the whole world is like out and about and i'm like just happy to be inside my apartment by myself and i almost felt like guilty and then when this happened like i had almost this relief and i was like okay now this is what everybody's doing so i'm allowed to do it too and just like thrive and flourish and then um you know, I was in the process of starting my new business and went really, really good. But then like a lot of like stuff happened, like manufacturing was closed due to COVID and so many obstacles, which obviously is, is it's a big pandemic. So it comes with a territory. But overall, I, I would say it's more so a day by day thing and obviously resources right now um, my jobs are on hold i'm lucky and i'm blessed that i really put money aside and have some sort of savings um lack of inspiration is hard for me to accept or to even understand because even more so right now we have the time to research and to read and then to listen and to i mean like listen to music listen to books watch movies so this source of inspiration is so endlessly, so it's hard for me to even understand that argument. And yeah, emotions, as I said, every day is a different day. It kind of goes hand in hand with the question before. Not necessarily diff more difficult or easier. I just think there's like different of the obstacles coming our way right now, meaning I'm already, you know, ahead of time and I'm already ready with my sketches, but then I'm just on like on pause because my manufacturing isn't maneuvering right now or my packaging can't be shipped because it's, it's coming from xyz countries and so it's just you know obstacles 
which are new, but every great story comes with those kind of obstacles. So I'm ready. Personally, for me, I like a big part of my business was actually producing those kind of experiences for you know, people in the entertainment industry or people that are about to launch their own label or people they wanted to create more, more momentum. So I would take them around the world to events or to fashion weeks. Um, and this was like a big, big part of what my team offered and a huge part of income for me and my team. Um, so that's personally affecting me big time because I feel like for 2020, it's definitely going to be a wrap. So... Yeah, there are definitely different scenarios that I have to now put more priority on and live from. Other than that, I feel like it's going to be a shift regardless. Obviously, it's going to be way more straight to direct to consumer, meaning online shopping, which already over the past years has been the go-to for consumers but I feel like now more so than ever and retail was struggling in the past years but this is an even bigger punch now so for one online shopping got a big new push um, I think sus sus sustainability sorry um, sustainability is obviously the word of, of the past two years minimum and we have to be conscious about how we produce, how fast we are um, changing collections, meaning maybe we don't need four or five, six different collections per year. Maybe it's okay if we go back to three. Um, so I think there's a shift in consciousness and a shift in how we approach. Um, um, yeah, so I think that's like one of the biggest things that's going to happen and probably for the better, obviously. I will definitely miss the rush of adrenaline and just the, you know, it's like always like a big class meeting, fashion week, because all your peers are there and you always like bump into people you haven't seen in a month or weeks and it's definitely something I'm going to miss. So um, hopefully 2021, 20, it's going to go a little bit back to normal. I don't know, I think everybody has their own journey. So I don't, like behind the scenes, I had a lot of, of struggles too. And like, I think it's just, again, it comes to the territory. It's never just like a seamless journey. I made it work and I more so decided to make it work and then just never stopped and never looked back. So I feel like, um, let me see the question again. Yeah, I think it's really about consistency. As I said in the beginning of the interview, um, it takes 10 years for an overnight success, meaning consistency, consistency, consistency. You know, like for some people it might happen in a year, for others in five years. And then there's another person who, who maybe it takes 15 years, but then he's going to be the next Bill Gates. So there's no right or wrong. And there's always like your own, I believe in God. So he already pinned the time that is right for you. And also when God decides to, for you to be in front of the line, it doesn't matter if you're the last of the line or if you're in the middle or if you're in the second front, you're going to be in front regardless. So consistency and also... Um, Actually, I had a meeting with a good friend of mine, Chai Modo. He is a legendary hip hop photographer. He shot one of the most iconic images of Tupac and Biggie. And I had like a, like a rough start this year. And he said to me, you know what? Everybody quits. And by you not quitting, you're already ahead. And this is so true. So just go. It doesn't matter again if it takes a year, or if it takes 15 years, if you never stop you automatically gonna win. And last but not least, there's never gonna be a perfect timing. So don't feel like, oh, I'm gonna start next week because then I'm prepared. I'm gonna start when I move here or when I have this money or this outfit, nah. It's never gonna be a perfect timing and for you to just start gives the universe enough like seed and then food to help you push it. If you don't start, nothing is gonna move.
be bold, be brave. For me, like I faked my confidence for the longest. Like it's it's fucking intimidating when you go in rooms with with legendary people or superstars. So train yourself like to have a presence. Put like let's see, put your shoulders back and just you know go for it and fake it until you make it. Be bold, be brave, be strategic. Put yourself into rooms that you into rooms where people are that you want to work with. Um, and you know, go for it and never believe any doubters or people who tell you to stop. Nah, if they can't see it, okay. But you can see it, so you go for it. Again, I'm an introvert. I enjoy being by myself. Obviously, I'm also traveling a lot. I'm out and about a lot. So it's not that I need to be alone. Can I'm like a psycho, but... Um, if I have a partner, obviously I'm able to live with them like a normal person. But to be with some fashion icons day and night in quarantine together, that's like a level of intimacy. Like intimacy. I don't know if I can share it. If I can pick one for one day, I don't know. It's still like a rough question because I'm more so drawn to people in, in the music industry. And because to me, art's like music, fashion, anything, anything creating wise goes hand in hand. So I don't really, for me, some singers are fashion icons more so than maybe X, Y, Z designers. So I would probably pick a musician, but if I would have need to pick one person from the fashion industry, I would maybe pick Ruff Simmons. Love Ruff Simmons. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of interviews from him or a lot of like verbal explanation and I would really like to pick his brain and just create a collaboration between Word and Ref Simmons. Gonna plant a seed. Um, so yeah, maybe Ref Simmons for like a tea date and then he can leave. Creating in crisis is just something powerful. It's, it's a lot of hope behind it. It's renewal, it's stillness, it's believing. So a lot of like positivity, a lot of like major iconic things have been created in other crises. So I refuse to only see the negative and try to really create an impact out of it and try to not only better myself, but obviously my whole team and hopefully inspire other people and, you know, just keep thriving. Okay, I hope you like this. I hope it helped some people and I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and thank you for the opportunity. Mwah.